been more bizarre evidence today from the ICAC anti-corruption hearings in New South Wales. ICAC is looking at donations made to the New South Wales Labor Party. And has already heard allegations that just before the 2015 state election, Chinese billionaire Wang Zhangmo, who's now banned from Australia for security reasons, he brought $100,000 in cash to the Labor headquarters in Sussex Street, cash in a plastic Aldi bag. And one party staff has testified that New South Wales Labor boss Kayla Murnane warned him to take care with that cash as he carted it home. He hadn't finished counting it. Uh, now, it's been rumoured that uh, Murnane's job as New South Wales Labor secretary was on the line as she today faced ICAC to give her side of the story. Little did she know that by the end of the day, she'd be suspended. Danica De Giorgio has been covering the inquiry and she joins me now. Danica, let's go to that first point. Um, uh, Manane, uh, by the end of the day, after she's given evidence, suspended by the opposition leader. What's the story here? Good evening to you, Andrew. Well, of course, this comes after days of speculation that her position as the boss of New South Wales Labor became increasingly untenable based on the evidence that is coming out of this ICAC inquiry. And just only about half an hour ago, a statement was re released by the New South Wales Labor leader, Jody McKay, saying, Tonight I am taking steps to clean up the mess at ALP head office. I am appalled by the evidence of the past three days. I have therefore asked the party officers to convene a meeting tonight to suspend... Kayla Manane as General Secretary, as I no longer have confidence in her judgment, Pat Garcia will act in the role of General Secretary. Now, it is interesting, Andrew, to note that during uh, the battle for the New South Wales Labor leadership, Jodie McKay, her number one supporter within the party, was actually Kayla Manane. And, well, here we are this evening. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. Uh, but uh, let's go back in the day to the evidence she gave to uh, ICAC to try and maybe tease out some of the things that might have led to this decision. Uh, what did Manane tell the inquiry? Well, it's certainly been an explosive day of evidence and the whole case centres around this now infamous Chinese Friends of Labor dinner that occurred back in March 2015 where where $100,000 in cash was allegedly brought to Labor Party headquarters by now exiled uh, Chinese billionaire Wang Zhangmo, as you mentioned, and this followed that dinner itself. Now, the council assisting Scott Robinson asked Kayla Manane today, when did you become aware that there was $100,000 cash to be banked in Labor Bank deposits. And her response to that was, I actually don't remember at what stage I became aware of a large amount of money. He said, but a large amount of money like that, it's significant. And she said, well, uh, it was certainly out of the ordinary. Now, she was dragged into this inquiry yesterday after former Labor staffer Kenrick Chia told the inquiry that she had warned him to be careful with an Audi bag that he was carrying containing this $100,000. She she was asked today, Andrew, do you remember seeing the bag? She said no. Uh, she was also asked, did you warn Mr Chia? To which she also responded, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, let's face it, $100,000 of cash in an Aldi plastic uh, supermarket bag. <laughs> <laughs> that could escape anyone's memory. That's very and true. There was, uh, <laughs> absolutely, it happens to me all the time. There was also uh, other evidence today about a text message sent to Manane, who's the New South Wales Labor Secretary, by Ernest Wong. Now, he was a Labor MP, sort of acted as a kind of go-between between, between Labor and the Chinese community. Take us through that. He was. Now, this text message exchange took place in September 2016. So we're talking now about a year and a half after the Friends of Labor dinner took place. She said uh, that he texted her saying, can we please catch up? They agreed to meet at the back of Parliament on Hospital Road. She said that Mr Wong, at the time, he appeared distressed, he was sweating and looked really upset. And he admitted to her at the time that a significant donor had made a donation to the state campaign account who was a prohibited donor, and he kept repeating the name, 
Mr Wang, Mr Wang. And now we, of course, know that Mr Wang is the Chinese billionaire Wang Zheng Mo. And Ms Manane said that this was actually the very first time she had heard about this donation. Now, probably the most explosive, or one of the most explosive allegations to come out of this came right at the very end when she said that she spoke to the Labor Party lawyer Ian Robertson about this. And I've just got to read you, uh, Andrew, exactly what, he, what she told the inquiry that he said... There is no need to do anything from here. Don't record this meeting. Don't put it in your diary. Forget the conversation happened with Ernest and I won't be billing you for this either. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I could make some conclusions, but maybe that wouldn't be legally safe. One of the most astonishing things you told me before coming on air is that Sam Dastiari, no, Sam Dastiari, the former Labor senator, forced to quit Parliament after himself accepting money from this Wang Zhang Mo. Well, you say that today Mernane uh, said that she'd asked Dastiari for help after a meeting with Ernest Wang. I've got to tell you, if you're not in trouble enough already, ask uh, Dastiari for help. <laughs> well, not, not great career advice. What was that about? Well, that's right. So after the meeting with Ernest Wong, uh, Ms Manane told the inquiry that her first point of contact was the New South Wales Labor Senator at the time, Sam Dastiari. And the pair agreed to meet. They met uh, outside Parliament inside his car and she said that she cried and confided in him and that it was actually uh, Mr Dastiari, Andrew, that recommended that she call the lawyers in the first place. And we do know that Mr Dastiari has been called to give evidence at this inquiry. He is due to take the stand tomorrow, so no doubt that this will be asked. What another explosive day we're looking uh, forward to. Uh, this is just getting more and more bizarre. Danica DiGiorgio, thank you so much indeed for your time. Pleasure.